welcome you all to this uh, video of Officers IS Academy. Usually they talk of life as not as a sprint race, something that is to be done within a short span of time, but a long marathon race which has to be crossed through a lot of milestones. And this is true for any journey that is there, that you have to cover the milestones before you can reach the goal. Civil services is also no different from what we have in life. The three stages of the civil services exam, as all of us know, the prelims, mains and the interview, each of them have their own difficulties. Each of them come with their own challenges. And there are definite strategies to be following in order to crack each of these uh, stages in order to reach that final sweet goal of becoming an IAS officer, of an IPS officer, of an IRS officer, or rather to be serving the nation in a civil capacity. Usually, only people who clear the final stage, the interview stage, are interviewed, they're talked to, in order to find out what all they did in order to get there. And when the interviews are taken, when they share their experiences, because it is a long time that they've been preparing for. It is a span of one year. It gets compressed. You don't get the details of what strategy that they followed for prelims, for mains and for interview. You don't get it as a separate thing. You get it as a big swath of uh, description, which does not give us the details as to what exactly it is. Officers Academy, through this particular attempt, through this video, a series of videos, we aim to find out what it is that takes a person to clear prelims exam and go on to mains. What it is that extra mind that takes a uh, aspirant uh, to clear the mains exam and go into the interview stage and so on and so forth for the interview stage also. Today's uh, video, we have uh, John Seturaj, a very, uh, we're very proud of this aspirant of ours, a student of ours. John has been associated with Officers IS Academy for the past two years. He has taken up the 2022 prelims examination and he is clear the uh, examination itself. He is preparing for his mains examination. And the thing to note about John is that not only did he clear for the civil services mains, he is also cleared the cutoff to be qualified to write IFRS mains. And if you know, IFRS mains, people almost 5 lakh people register themselves for the prelims examination. Almost 10,000 to 15,000 get selected for the mains examination. People who get selected for IFRS mains, who clear the IFRS cutoff, are amongst the top 2,000. Which means John has done really well in order to master the strategy, whatever strategy that he's had to clear the prelims examination and has come to this particular stage. Let us find out from John as to what it is that he did extra, what extra mile did he go in order to achieve the feat that he has achieved. Mind you, he is one amongst the top 2000 that is there. Welcome, John. Welcome Hi, to uh, this uh, interaction that we are having. First of all, how is it going? How is your mains preparation going along? So, how is it coming along? So far, so good, sir. It is coming along yeah. good. So you've been, uh, you've been mastering these strategies, uh, whatever you've been... For the mains. Uh, for mains, you've been working upon it, right? Yes. So that is a different story altogether. So can you share with our viewers what strategies you followed in order to breach the IFOS barrier? IFOS okay. is a big wall. Civil yeah. services cutoff itself is a big wall. IFOS is an unscalable wall as we see it. What was the different things or the small things that you did to clear that? Okay, sir. So first of all, I need to mention about the mistakes what I did in my first attempt. Okay. So usually uh, people, I see people uh, who've been preparing for years, for six to seven years. The general mistake what they do is they concentrate only on the knowledge part. Mm. I think that's it's a very big mistake. Uh, even during my first, uh, first attempt, I did the same mistake. Mm. I was concentrating only on mere reading. Okay. I was reading nearly tens and tens of books. But in totality, you cannot expect a single question directly from any kind of book. Mm. So after giving my first attempt, I made sure, okay, this is not going to work. Uh, as they say, always open new doors. <laughs> so in the same way, I thought, okay, uh, let's go back to the academy and join. I joined Steeplechase. Mm. And again, you joined the Steeplechase, steeplechase program with Officers program, Academy. Officers academy. Okay. And uh, it helped me a lot. Mm. And it's very common that you take up the prelims technique class correct, correct. for uh, clearing the prelims stage. Mm. Especially uh, when, when it comes to my second attempt. Mm. 
I made sure, okay, let me go to the exam and I answer all questions. Mm. Even if I don't know the question, I must come to a conclusion. At least I am getting at least 50 out of 50. Okay. So you almost answered all the 100 questions. 95 in questions. 95, exactly. 95 is what you had. Okay. Okay. So uh, to make it clear, I just knew only 30 questions. Okay. Okay. So for 60 questions, I used my strategy. Like so sure shot questions that you knew through knowledge were only 30, 30. out of the 95 that you had. Yeah. And the other 65, you had to take it down by some neck. By strategy. Okay. So that was the strategy that, that you employed. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, as you say, like mm. every question has its clue within it. Correct. Correct. So, it's not just about uh, reading a question and just coming to inference like, yeah, I know the question and I don't know the question. Mm. It's upon the two hour thing. Like we have to sit, we have to solve. Just like a mathematics sum, we have to solve each and every question. Exactly what we've been talking about yeah. in class. No, it is something that you have to look for in the question. In itself. the question. So you, you've taken a lot from the techniques classes that we've had. I, I'm very I, glad I even, about it. I even still have the notes for techniques class. Oh, very nice. Okay. I'm, I'm, I have a... I have a selfish pride in it. Oh, to but be honest, it is good that you have to taken be, to it. To be honest, it really works well. Mm. Uh, but and this time they changed the UPSC pattern. Like seven questions were out of pattern. Okay. The moment I saw the question, I know. Correct. The match the following yeah, questions were out of a different completely. pattern. Correct. Uh, usually, aspirants, most of them would solve questions by elimination method. Mm. Like they would eliminate an option, they would come to a conclusion. Okay, this option would be the correct one. Okay. But this time, that technique didn't work. Okay. But the things which we so in our class, mm -hmm. like uh, how to know that most probably this will be the option. Oh, okay. Okay. Most probable, most probable option. option. Oh, okay. And it's not just like a mere thing like, okay, this may be, this may not be. We have a rational backup for the Correct. option. Some knowledge base Some knowledge. required even to apply techniques, ah, of course. Even to apply techniques, we need a wide knowledge base, mm. to be honest, because we'll be borrowing concepts from other subjects while applying, Correct. Uh, Correct. While applying all these things. And one more thing which I need to mention here is, uh, while doing my preparations, I made sure I solved enough questions mm. because just by mere reading, we cannot approach the question. Okay. And the standards of the question are getting tougher and tougher mm. each day. So more num solving more number of questions, questions is something that you that yeah. you said. That's so initially when you started off with this strategy, you said answering more number of questions in the paper, you answered 95, yeah, 95. out of which 30 are definitely supposed to be sure shot. Sure. And I assume these sure shot questions were quality questions, uh, quality, quality economy. To be honest, the sure shot questions were around only 25 got correct. 25. Oh, okay. Okay. So and these were in quality, the uh, subject in quality, quality. mostly okay. quality. Okay. And then the other 65 odd questions you did by your strategy. Strategy. And for the strategy, you worked through the strategy. You went through yeah. each of these techniques that we discussed in class. You framed your own idea of it. Ideas. You say that you need a wide knowledge base even to use the techniques, which is absolutely true. Without the knowledge base, there is nothing that you can work with. You can use techniques, but the knowledge base is a prerequisite even for the usage of techniques. Yes. Sir, to, be, to make sure that even during my uh, first attempt, I know the techniques. Okay. But the problem is, I didn't mm -hmm. practice the techniques. You didn't practice the techniques. Okay. Uh, One more it, le uh, level is that he adds is that you have to practice the technique. Okay. Practice the techniques. And the main thing is, uh, during my first attempt, I thought, okay, for every question, we can follow the same technique. And again, it's not the case. Okay. So for each subject, and as you say, for environment, we have a different technique. For quality, we have different mm -hmm. different techniques. So on applying all these things and practicing much in previous questions, as well as in uh, there are many free MCQs as well as in our OA, they are giving a reciprocity. Yeah, we also have a test, series, ah, test right? series. And I also heard a couple of questions from our test series got reflected yeah, in questions. the exam. Exactly. Two Is questions. It? Okay. What were these two questions? It was a question on BioRock technology. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. BioRock question. And one more was, I think, Web 3.0. Web 3.0. Okay. Okay. Web these two were in, in total in total repeated in the examination. Yeah, and I remember in, the, in discussing in the class, in the test class, that 3.0, this might be asked in the examination. All Almost like a prophecy. Yeah. Mineral accretion or bio rock technology often seen in news is related to a technology to restore deteriorated rocks in desert ecosystem, a technology to increase symbiotic association between rocks and lichens, a technology to restore coral ecosystem, none of the above. Mineral accretion or bio rock technology is a technology to restore coral ecosystem. It is being talked about quite very often in terms of what troubles climate change is causing to the coral ecosystem and this is one of the remediating or mitigating mitigating technologies that is there against it 98 which of the following statements best describes the concept of web 3.0 again something that is the latest development of 
uh, web itself, the internet. So could be asked in the examination. Wireless communication technology, it is something which is to be done with blockchain technology, web 3.0. Wireless communication technology which utilizes light to transmit data and position between devices, that is not what it is. Technology which involves arrays of satellites to beam broadband services around the earth without the need for fiber optic cables, no. Decentralized internet service which could run on blockchain technology, that is what it is, that is what web 3.0 is, you can go read about it in the key, very interesting idea which is looked to be started, answer should be C, answer is indeed C, okay, and came true. It came good that you could solve that and probably that also primed you for the exam. And one more thing, while you are teaching the web 3.0, you, you told us like uh, don't just go too deep into it. Mm. Just know what is web 3.0. Okay. And the same question came exactly what is web 3.0. What is 3.0? It's okay. not like getting too deep to uh, know about the technology and more scientific aspects of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mostly they are limiting themselves with if the aspirant knows what it is. That's we, we keep saying these things. Uh, learn what is what. what. Learn that what is, is enough. What. That's a trick. Right. right. Uh, See, and one more thing, the main thing which the academy helped me is knowing the direction. Mm. And you often say that it's not about what you study, it's about what not to study. Correct. Because Correct. carrying too much load means carrying too much unnecessary mm. concepts in your head and which ain't going to work for. So, I made sure that I kept my material very much limited and I just stick with what I did and I repeated. I very revised nice. every every time. Repeated revisions, yeah, revisions. is what, you help, what helped you. Right. Yeah, it helped me. Very nice. That's that's a great strategy to follow. So, if we were to summarize what John was to say here, what interaction we had, what I understand is that first of all, in attending the questions, he said, throw the net wide. 95 odd questions is what he had. And out of these 95, he had ab about 25 to 30 as sure short questions. And many of these questions were in polity and economy, which beats down to that particular thing where polity and economy, you need to have a good knowledge base. You need to be able to solve these questions through knowledge itself. And then for the other 65 odd questions, he used the techniques that we shared with uh, our students in the academy, the strategy that he said. And it is not just knowing these techniques, but practicing them many times, mastering these techniques by sitting with the paper every day, like, like practicing for any other thing that is there for probably riding a cycle. He probably practiced it every day and mastered these techniques. And to apply these techniques in the examination point four, he had a wide knowledge base. He knew what it is about different things that were there. He did not go too deep into it, but he knew what is what. And through that, he could link up. He did follow the academy tests also from which uh, incidentally, two questions have repeated themselves. One of these questions, we did say that we can expect this to be asked in the examination. And all these ingredients put together is what has brought John to this place where he stands. Now he's, like I said, uh, uh, he's in, in how many ever times if I repeat it doesn't matter. He's one amongst the top 2000. Not many people get to breach the IA force barrier. And here is our proud student, John, who's done that. If you guys could take notes from this particular idea, this, this uh, John's idea, John's strategy, you have a very fair chance to breach this barrier and breach the Pillum's barrier, which is going to be held in May 2023 and get into Maine's 2023, something that we would like all of you to do so. On that note, we'll call it a wrap on this particular video. Until the next time, thank you.